Yeah, one of my friends has been participating in this competition, so I like what it's been for me to participate. I see, nice, word of mouth. Um, could you introduce yourself and where you're from? My name is Manuel Mina and I'm from Tanzania. Okay. Well, I see. Now, what is your project about? My project is about information, short message service. It is a program for sending messages to the cities or cities members or organization members. Any kind of organization can use this software or even a country can use this software for sending messages to its citizens. Okay. Could you demo it a bit for us? Yes. Here I have two applications, there are two applications. There's a server-side application, the scanner server, and it is the one which is running right now. And there's an application which I created. Here is the application, it is running, it is called InfoPasa Universal SMS Kit. And here I can log in as a system administrator who wants to pass a message to the people. Okay. So I'm going to write a database location. It is a, it is a, right now it is at a, this computer, so it is a local host. Local, write local host. And the database name is called Habari. Like it is news in Swahili language. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I write my name, I'm the administrator, the powerful user in this computer, it is root. Okay. Then my password. <laughs> and I log in. In some trouble. No, it's okay, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. is launching now. When you first open this software, you get the intro page and it up here say welcome database user root. This is the name of the database user from localhost slash abari. From this computer database name is abari. Now we have system time they say 1, 26, 45, 2014 and there's total member. I have only 15 members to register this software and I have only sent 44 messages to these people. And down here there's a system failure. There's no any error has been detected once I switch on this software right now. So I'm, for the first time for this when I, I switch this on program login. When I go up here, there's a registration panel. This is a registration, this is a small one, but there's another one which can can be used by other people from different areas remotely. So once I register people in this software and, and also you can see their waves. Yeah. If these waves don't blink up, it means there's something wrong with this software. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you can write any person name, say John, then Thomas, then I can write phone number. I cannot write any text in this software here right now, but if I write 0714565601, I just write random number for now because this is a Romanian line. I don't know anything about yeah, okay. So residence, let's say, is Bucharest. And the occupation, this John is a uh, programmer. And tip of day, he want to receive news about programming. If I register this user, user has been registered. And information about registration is sent. So John has been receiving a message right now that you have been registered with the InfoPass software. So if I click OK, registration information is prepared. So here, it's giving me a space for writing or registering another person.
Okay. okay. So here, there's a search panel, but for me to explain this, I have to go to the more panel. This small panel, I can explore every person in my database. I can edit it. Let's say this person is not Francis, he was mistakenly registered. So I can say his name is Emmanuel. If I say his name is Emmanuel, I need to update. Once I update, I need to write my password to confirm it. If update is successful, now it is Emmanuel. Now I can refresh, and if I want to send a message to one person only, I can click here and type a message and send. But if you want to send a message to a number of people, so this is another panel, it's called information. Inform all or inform to specific area. That. And if I click now, say no message to send. You have to write a message. Hello, world. If I write a message and send here. Okay, sorry. Don't need to email everybody. Yeah. Okay.